Today, we're leaving the extreme East Coast winters for some fun of the sun in one of the most fascinating countries in the world. Join me as we discover the Valle de Guadalupe region of the one and only Mexico! Whether you're planning the perfect vacation or relocating your life overseas, Paradise Hunter is here to help you find somewhere magnificent and affordable. I'm Josh Garcia, Paradise Hunter. When you think of Mexico, you probably think of Cancun or even Mexico City. But today, I'm going to take you to a special little place off the beaten path in the Baja region. Valle de Guadalupe is a paradise waiting to be discovered. Valle de Guadalupe is a small town nestled just 30 minutes east of the Ensenada beaches and only two hours south of the California border. They're known for their amazing wine, so my first stop was Viñas Pijuan, a small family-owned winery in the heart of the valley. And this is Pau Pijuan and his wife, Leonara, who were more than happy to show me around. Uh, all my wines have the names of... Uh, of your girlfriends. Uh, hopefully say that. not. <laughs> no, I have three daughters. Uh -huh. uh, one wife, one mother. And a sister. And a sister. So what are the names of them all? Leonora is the flagship. I mean, if you don't do the best wine, in there, for your wine, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to get it. Yeah, yes. that's going to get it. When the skins are soft, then we use a uh, punch down. Punch down. So what, do you, what is it? It's a wooden thing. thing. What is this called? Uh, what would you say in Spanish? What's the name of this? Palo. Palo. Palo is stick. So I don't know what's up with it. Was, it was all the way in. Uh, it's my lucky palo because it's the only one I have. So Did you make this yourself? Uh, can you see the redness of this palo? It's, uh, it's definitely been this, used once or twice, huh? It's, it's been with me for 10 years. So. How do I look? You think I do a good job? Yeah, yeah. Of course, I do. You have to do it. Well, what made 2002 and 2004 good years? They bring they bring very, very little. Uh, grapes that are more concentrated. Good flavor. flavor? Yeah. But they still grow, no problem. No, no. Well, uh, we, we won't support a uh, year like 2002 or three in a row. We will that without nothing. Ah. We just drain three inches that year. Dry three years are inches. good years. In this area, yes. Too many dry years are bad years. Because the plant will die. <laughs> plant will die. The plant won't be able to support those Got it. <laughs> Before we left, Leonora insisted my cameraman and I try her homemade ceviche with a glass of the flagship wine Pau named after her. And it was unlike anything I'd ever had before. That said, I was sad to leave this spectacular place. But it was time to meet the people behind the valley's most infamous restaurant, Laja. Nothing spells Mexico like their amazing cuisine. Chef Rafael Mengenye actually grows all his very own local organic ingredients right here on site and puts them in every dish he makes. We started with a tour of the garden where I actually got to try things right out of the earth. Carrots, uh, arugula, mm. beet, and this is lemongrass. Oh, okay, wait, let's compare. And I even caught the sous chef cutting fresh garlic for my dinner that night. Fresh garlic straight from the garden going right into our dinner today. And now it's dinner time. The food was awesome and so fresh. Plus, the wine from the vineyard kept on coming. It's like we Veo doble, cierro un ojo y no voy a casar. Ah, ¿Listo? Sí. <laughs> Dinner was great, and all that food tired me out. But before hitting the hay, there was this bump in the little corner filled with all these mariachis, and I just had to see what the commotion was about. Okay, so they're basically mariachi guys for rent. Un momento, okay. So if I 
think Guadalupe is a near-perfect place. Is it practical to live here? I was up early the next morning to meet with Douglas Welch, the area's top real estate mongol who specializes in affordable oceanfront properties. I built this house here 26 years ago. No way, look at you. For... Did you live in it? Yeah. I had it right here. This, this place would be good for those who golf. What about, is it, does it have that country club like feel? Absolutely. Like, are we, like, Absolutely. We're, I'm thinking like a, a country club house that people can rent, like a pool, yes. a place for the families to gather. Yes. This is the house I'm going to show you is a development with five pools. Yes. This is our Montecito model, which is three bedrooms and two baths. So you have two, two bedrooms in the front, one bath, of course, uh, all stainless steel uh, appliances in it. Slack granite tops, and of course, a great view. We're about 250 feet above sea level, so you have a forever view of the ocean. They're under 400,000. Under 400,000, 400, something comparable in the United States in the waterfront? Well, what would you estimate that? Minimum three times. Minimum, if you could find it this close to the water. Right. For Absolutely. Now, I'm assuming there's an HOA involved right. here. Yeah, it's really high. It's $135 more. That's, that's, that's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> And that includes public maintenance. These are also uh, uh, basically public areas here, the green belts, and there are five different swimming pools here with the Norman, uh, with the uh, establishment. So Alabama. I almost feel like you fooled everybody because you've got the oceanfront property, kind of. Right. And I mean, look at this. Right. And you paid a quarter of the price. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So for the yeah. same house on the oceanfront in Bahamar, we're looking at. Mm, minimum of a million dollars. A million. And the same house on oceanfront property in California oh we're gosh. looking at. Uh, probably two million. Just what I wanted to hear. Not only is Valle de Guadalupe gorgeous, it's affordable. That said, my experience has come to an end. But my hunt for paradise has just begun. I'm Josh Garcia, Paradise Hunter.